Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound. My name's Tech Orsa and today we are going to be starting a brand new build. Um, this one is a triple parter. Um, three different suggestions from three different people. Um, first off we have a town in the style of Gothic Victorian era thing from Wendigo. We have a town in the snow from Calibri and we also have Arctic Hot Springs from 7x9000 which I figured would, would combine pretty good into this. So anyways I'm going to start off with some terraforming so let's get started. Is it really terraforming or is it landscaping? I think it doesn't really matter that much as long as we know what context it is, but anyways, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well, and I just need to say thank you guys for your patience while I was away. I had some family issues that I needed to deal with, but it's taken care of now, so I can get back to my Starbound. Do I really have a schedule? I'm going to say schedule, but I don't think I really do have a schedule. It's just whenever I post them. I try to have it daily, but you know, sometimes it makes it out, sometimes it doesn't. But I try really hard, I promise. But anyways, so what I did with the terraforming was it's basically all just frozen dirt and snow. Um, I did throw in some ice, but you don't really see it. And I learned a lot from this little experience from terraforming. I mean, I had to remind myself of some stuff that I already did know. That the uh, brightest of lights don't really show through. I think the maximum is eight tiles of, or eight blocks rather. But yeah, I mean, you just take that and kind of extrapolate it into the circumstance where you don't really need to see that deep into the earth. I did fill in the caves, that was kind of important. Oh, and if you're wondering, right now I am... Oh, that's about what I said. I'm sorting through all the tiles, trying to pick out a tile set for what I'm about to start building. Not really going to talk about it too much until I'm actually building it, because I'm actually very proud of what I did with this build. It's not finished. I still need to do touch-ups, you know, after this video. But jeez, I need to hurry up and get started. I'm just itching to talk about it. Oh wait, oh, I should talk about that little snow thing that I had built. Um, basically what that was doing was trying to keep snow from building up on the path. Building in snow is probably the most annoying thing I've ever done. Because snow layers just keep piling on when you don't want them to. But, okay, so I guess I can start talking about it now. I mean, this should be fairly obvious since I've started this little bit, but I'll give it a little bit of a hint. It's a buttress. That's probably not very telling to any of you who aren't familiar with architecture, but okay, so since it is gothic style, you guys do know that, I was making a gothic style cathedral. You should be able to see the shape starting to take form now. So I decided to come from the angle that would have like the buttresses exposed towards the player. Um, the other angle would just be a sort of maybe like a clock tower looking thing. Not exactly a clock tower, but kind of looks like a clock tower with two supporting towers beside it. and. I figured that wasn't going to be a very interesting thing to build or, you know, to look at in general. But I looked at a lot of reference pictures, you know, some of them being, you know, just... Oh, what is it called? Like, orthographic views um, from the sides and from the front of various cathedrals that were made in the Gothic style. The Gothic style being, um... Like, basically it's got um, large spiky bits, it has buttresses for support, 
it's much larger than other types of buildings in the era because of the construction, mainly the um, buttresses. But yeah, I mean, that's the really big reveal of this episode. I do get it mostly finished though. I mean, as I said, I do have some detail work and after I'm more after I finish, I do still have detail work. Um, mainly on the bottom half where like the um, lower half of the roof is at underneath the uh, windows that are higher up basically the bottom half as I said and I also do need some more detail in that center bit um, I need to accentuate it so it looks more like the entrance to the cathedral instead of a um, thing that's just tacked onto the side of it that's, that's mainly what I need to work on after all of this is said and done. I do get all the buttresses and the windows. Oh, and speaking of the windows, they're not going to stay like that. Those are sort of a temporary measure while I try to figure out what block will go good in that spot. You know, not show too much of the background behind it because I don't want the church just to seem like a flat wall. But at the same time, you know, I need to find something that's colorful that I can make look like stained glass. I think what I'm thinking right now is black glass. Um, you can't see through it very well and you can dye it whereas the stuff that I'm currently using cannot be dyed at all. So you know there's that to think about. But if you guys have any suggestions about that I'm willing to hear you out. Um, you know what type of block I could use for that um, just stuff of that nature or if there's anything you see that I did wrong with this like for example you know I didn't make the shape of something correct you know just let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments and I'm close to wrapping this up I think I just have like some lampposts to throw down there we go all right, well, that's going to be it for this video. This was a surprising amount of work. Um, I didn't expect it to take as long as it did, but anyways. Yeah, it's the cathedral. It's going to be sort of the center attraction of the town. And it's in the Gothic style, like I probably talked about in the time lapse. But... Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I am running a daily Starbound Let's Build series. With well, that being said, if you have any suggestions, comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.